anticipation. Ready? Ready. Noun. Soon. Do you, the scientists know what happened today? Look, look, see for yourself. It rained, and it had been for seven years. This was the way life was on the planet of Venus. Stopping! It's stopping! Here stood Margot, apart from the other children. She could remember a time when there wasn't rain, rain and rain. They were all nine years old. If there had been a day seven years ago, when the sun came out for an hour, they would not recall. I think the sun is a flower that blooms for just one hour. <laughs> you didn't write that. I did, I did. William! But that was yesterday. Now the rain was slacking. Margo. Where's the teacher? She'll be back. Jeez. She better hurry up or we'll miss it. Uh... What are you looking at? <sighs> Eek when you're spoken to. They edged away from her. They wouldn't look at her. She felt them go away. This was because she would play no games with them if they tagged her and ran. She stood blinking after them and did not follow. When the class sang songs about happiness, her lips barely moved. Only when they sang about the sun, only then did her lips move. And the biggest crime of all? She had come here only five years ago from Earth. She remembered how the sun was when she was for living in Ohio. And they, they have been on Venus all their lives. They were only two years old. When the sun last came out, they've long since forgotten the color and the heat of the sun, but Margot remembered. The sun, it's round like a penny. No, it's not. It's hot, like a fire in the stove. I mean, you don't remember? After that, she sensed it. She sensed she was different. And they knew her difference and kept away. Locked away. There was talk that her father and mother were taking her back to Earth next year, which Margot wanted more than anything. The children hated her for all these reasons, big or small. They hated her pale snow face, her waiting silence, her thinness, and her possible future. Get away! What are you waiting for? You heard him! Don't wait around here! Oh, but this is the day the scientists predict. They say they know the sun. Ah! It's all a joke! Hey everyone! Whoa, whoa. Quick, let's lock her in the closet before the teacher comes! No! No, you can't! Please don't! No! Please let me out! I need to see it! The sun! Please! Darkness. All right, children, settle down. Are we ready? Yeah! Is everyone here? Yeah! All right, let's go. Hey, wait. The world stood still for Margot. The silence was so immense and unbelievable. You felt as if you lost your hearing altogether. The sunshine. 
They looked at everything and savored everything. Realization. The sun faded and the rain continued its endless pour. All right, children, time to go back inside. What's up? Oh no, we forgot about Margo. Regret. Behind the door was silence. No cries, no screams, just utter silence. Think she's dead? No, don't say that. Heartfelt apology. Margo, we're so sorry. We didn't know the sun would come out. We didn't. I swear. We're sorry. A better future. Thank you for watching.